Hey, what's up? I'm gonna show you how to make a gray water evaporation pond and battery powered shower for Burning Man. And it works! So good! The way this works is the tips of the towels sit in the gray water and the water soaks up the towel throughout the day and evaporates. A couple times a day, you take the towels off and fully soak them in the water, hang them back up to let them dry. I've used this design for the last seven burns and it's evaporated all of our gray water for a camp of around 15 people. It's a real simple design. It just has some two by fours around the perimeter. It's got a tarp and it has a rack for towels. Keep watching, I'll show you how to make the pond and how to make the shower. Starting with the gray water pond, we've got four eight foot two by fours. We're gonna cut those in half to four feet. Uh, makes it easier for transport. Get some brackets to tie those together. Get some corner brackets so you could do the corners. Now you have the perimeter. Next, we're gonna measure out 23 and a half inches, 16 pieces of PVC at 23 and a half inches each. That's gonna be the rack. Lay that out, get all your connector pieces. I'm gonna make a part list for all that. Assemble all that together. So the perimeter is longer in one direction. You're gonna to wanna to run the rack, the PVC rack in the long direction. PVC legs go on the outside of the perimeter. I measured in two feet just trying to line up these legs and get everything square in there and even. Get a pipe strap, attach it, and then it's time to move on to the shower platform. We got some two by fours and some one by threes. The one by threes are the planks that go on top of the platform. We're gonna cut those two foot long. There's nine pieces, and then we have two two by fours that are two foot long underneath. Measure in four inches, make a mark, then measure in one inch on each side into the center. Just did that so I could line up all the screws and they look pretty. Pre-drill that out, countersink that. And then I measured in four inches, just wanted to make sure that it was four inches to the center of that two by four. Get everything lined up, screw it in. And that's the bottom of the platform. Get the planks on top and line them up. And what I did was a finger width in between each plank and it worked out perfect. So we're also gonna need a plank on the very front of that because it's gonna hold up the PVC pipe that holds the shower head. Next piece is our little walkway. Uh, because our shower platform sits in the middle of that gray water pond, we need a little walkway to get out there. So this one was, the planks are one foot wide. Do the same routine, uh, measure out where the holes go, pre-drill it and countersink it. We do the two by fours flat though, because this is gonna slide into the shower platform as you can see in this right here. Ooh, look at that. Next, we're gonna assemble and attach the, the vertical pipe that holds the shower head and the switch for the pump. Put these pieces together, got a few different connectors. This is just there just to hold the shower head and the light, light switch for the pump. Measured in halfway into the center of that. Get some pipe strap and attach it. Now it's time to hook up all the hoses to the bilge pump. So we got an 800 gallon per hour bilge pump sits in the bottom of this tote. We got a three quarter inner diameter hose. Uh, we're gonna need to drill out a hole into the side of this tote for that hose. That goes in and it will attach to the pump. 
So got that 800 gallon per hour pump. We got a light switch and some cable. Instead of buying wires, I just I bought a couple extension cords and cut the tips off. It was cheaper and it had a nice coating on it. Get your connectors. We're working with 16 gauge wire. Attach that and crimp that down. Heat up that shrink on there, make it watertight. And then we have battery connectors to the light switch directly to that 12 volt DC pump. So you can turn it on and off. So there's a couple little holes on the back of this pump where you could use a, a screw. So it needs to sit in the bottom of the tote. So use some rubber washers and attach that there because it will flow otherwise. So we needed to step down from this three quarter inner diameter hose down to a half inch so it could attach to the shower head. There's probably some better ways to do this, but I had to Frankenstein all this shit together uh, using different pieces from the hardware store. Got the shower hose. I tried a handful of different shower heads. None of them worked except for this one. Uh, you, there's not enough pressure from the pump to use a standard shower head. We got our pump attached at the bottom of the tote, the hose running out, and you got your shower head up there. You got your light switch. Turn it on, and that shit works so good. Look at that. And that's it. You got a gray water evap pond and a battery powered shower. It's going to be the best burn yet. And here it is all packaged up. It's really compact, easy to bring out to the playa. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helped you out.